you asked for it. Today's video is a Trader Joe's haul. Hannah and I have never done a video like this before, so if we break all of the rules of a video like this, sorry. So we're going to take you item by item and show you what food we get that lasts us about, what would you say, two weeks? Yeah, with some supplemental like fruits and veggies, yeah. Yeah, here we go. Food. So they've already broken no, rule number one. No, <laughs> I got three bags of my favorite popcorn. One is for the video. I mean, it's all for me. It's all for the video. One is in the video. One is already away, and I took one out to eat. So, shoot me. You didn't have lunch. So. I'm so hungry. And we just spent all this time buying this delicious-looking food. So, uh, first we wanted to say that this is not a Trader Joe's ad. We are not in any way sponsored by them or anything. This is just our actual shopping. I mean, this is a little bit overboard from what we would normally do. Yeah, but we wanted to show you all of what they have. Yeah, yeah. everything that we thought looked amazing. So, yeah. <laughs> this will last us a long time. Most of it is for the freezer, which one, it's melting, so we need to hurry. And two, it doesn't go bad. So, we can go on our trip this weekend to Chicago yeah. for a conference, and we will come back, and it will still be perfect. I think it might be fun if all of you vote in the comments who of us Picked each item. I'm probably, I'm sure we'll reveal it. I don't know how that's gonna be. I don't know how you can do that, but in, it's not in the comments. Just in your own head, <laughs> if you see a specific item that you think, you know, you can put in the comment. But in your own head, Say as it. I lift up each item, try to pick who picks that item. Sure, because we'll talk about them and then they'll know. They'll, you'll know right away. So okay. Shane's idea didn't make sense, but in your head, when I lift up, if I lift up this this item, you think who? Who? And if you advise. Say it aloud to yourself. Yeah. Hannah and I are really bad at doing all the videos. Well, we've never done one before. So we're not really sure. I'm already... Like, I asked you if I should take the stuff out of the bags, like, before the video, or if I should, during the video, unbag it, but we decided to take it out first. I'm not sure why I'm telling you that, just just in case that's the wrong move. All right, who's melting? Here we go. Let's hurry up. Item number one. Shall I go right to left? I think so, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna combine these because they're they're the same almost. So this cake is called the Chantilly Cream Vanilla Bean Mini Sheet Cake. It is incredible, and I'm gonna bring these up here. I have had this before. I have had this before. Shane loved it, but today when I went to get it, he saw that they had a chocolate version. This is called Dark Chocolate Ganache Mini Sheet Cake. So he's super excited. I'm not a huge chocolate cake person, so this one's me. She's going to end up eating the chocolate one as well. Yeah, well, we're not giving people enough time to choose who it is, so just get rid of that game. It's a terrible game. We're going to tell you right away who chose what I am. <laughs> All right, here, I'll kind of combine items that are similar. Uh -huh. Here we have butter chicken with basmati rice, and here we have chicken tikka masala. We've had, you know, I, I don't like that my head is covered. My head's out of it too, Shane. <laughs> We have not had the butter chicken yet. We've had this one, and it is the best thing in the entire world. It's a little bit spicy if you're not... Why it's not focusing. There we go. Yeah. It's a little bit spicy if you're not into spicy food. This? Yeah. I remember? It? Yeah. I don't remember it being spicy. It was spicy. good, but it was spicy. It's not very spicy. I don't remember it being spicy, so it's probably not that spicy. Give you a heads up. If you're heat tolerant... If you're my mom, you won't like it. Heat intolerant, yeah. <laughs> but if you like a little spice, it's fine. Um, and I always worry about like frozen rice things. They never actually mm, get soft. The rice is always hard. It was soft. Yep. It was really good. It's really delicious. And the chicken is super soft. It's really, really yeah. good. All right, these, we've never had these. These are steamed chicken soup dumplings mm. filled with a rich and savory broth. And you're supposed to like uh, poke these in a spoon so that the broth in goes the into the spoon and then you sip it out of the spoon. Yeah, it says it on the back. This sounds not very easy for me. Well, I'll do it for you, Shane. <laughs> Nothing is easy for you. <laughs> there we go. That's the title of this video. All right. Nothing is easy for you, Shane. Here we have little mini pizzas. We've uh, also never had these, so we'll let you know. Those? Yes, you said throw them in. I thought you said no. No, I said oh my god, I think. I think I was like oh my god, but I, I put them in. Ah. Uh. Turn the oven on. I know. Turn the oven on. Oh, yummy. Oh, I'm going to do these so I can put them away. These are really, really, really good. They're just ice cream sandwiches. They have little chocolate chip things rolled on the outside. 
delicious. All of Trader Joe's ice creams, I think, are amazing, so. That where I'm from, we call these a chip witch. I'm putting this in the freezer. I don't want these to melt. These yeah. are special to me. Did you ever have a chip witch? I don't know. Like, grand yeah, grand I don't know. Maybe when I was younger. Witch. I was deprived of sweets when I was younger, I think, which is why I'm now look what a little bit crazy. <laughs> these are all butter shortbread cookies with chocolate filling. Mmm. Very rarely does Hannah pick out a sweet and show it to me, and I agree that they should get it. I don't like sweets a whole lot. I, that's something that I think when I was younger, I would have thought for sure my future husband will be a sweet lover because yeah. I'm a sweet lover and I wish that I could share that with you but on the plus side Shane will get a dessert at a restaurant like he likes sweets a little bit he'll get something in a restaurant for a dessert and eat one bite and then I get the rest of it yeah you know my point was about these chickies uh Hannah held them up and I was like oh yeah I did I would actually like them they're like dead really yeah well I yeah well that. then I said are you gonna actually have one and you said maybe that's one. I said, well, you have one, and you said maybe. So. But, but I was like, yeah, I'm not like that. Let's not go crazy. Here is jerk-style plantain chips. I've only had the plain version before. I'm trying to block your face out so well, it focuses. I don't know. It doesn't focus if your face is in it. Yeah. I've never had uh, this specific kind before, but I have read on the Instagram accounts that I follow that are about Trader Joe's that these are really good, so right. I'm excited. If you look at who Hannah follows on Instagram, it's all food-related. All right, Shane. I've recently started. I think it's so fun. I, I, I didn't it. before. I love The bags are very loud. I'm sorry, what? I love that about you. That was what I was saying. Oh, thanks. All right. These are relatively similar. Here we have these Gorgonzola gnocchi. I don't know how, how you say gnocchi. How do you say that? No. Nah. Okay, well, in, in Pol I, I always grew up saying it with a Polish accent, and then at one point I became embarrassed of that and started saying it in an American accent, and now I'm somewhere in between, and I don't know what is what. Gnocchi. Gnocchi. I think. Gnocchi. Gnocchi. Gnocchi, maybe, is American? Gnocchi? Gnocchi. Anyway, so these are stuffed ones. Shane loves these, and these are really delicious. Softness alert. Yeah, super soft. Softness alert. These are not soft. Shane can't eat these, but oh my god, they're the best things ever, so I make them for only me. Yeah. And he gets something else. Yeah, we have some uh, foods that we buy that aren't really easy for me. Yeah, well, but... you'll buy, like, fish sticks, and I'm, like, not going to eat those, <laughs> so then I'll buy my nookie. Yeah, and on those nights, we just have different things. Yep. It takes compromise to make any relationship work. All right, Shane. <laughs> Okie dokie. Here we have, what yeah. is this? I actually didn't even look. Yeah. Mushroom risotto and asparagus risotto. We have not had the mushroom risotto, but we've had the asparagus risotto, and it is so good. And Shane cannot eat asparagus normally, but I he's finally gotten the flavor. Yeah, because this is like asparagus flavored. He didn't eat the chunks, but you liked it. I had some of the chunks. Yeah, not a lot of them, but I'm just saying this actually tasted like asparagus. Again, another frozen meal that tastes like what, 10 minutes to yep. prepare? And it's so soft. And delicious. So, so good. Alright, we have not had either of these before. But they look really good. So this is roasted potatoes with peppers and onions. And this is country potatoes with green beans and wild mushrooms. Uh, so that looks amazing. I'm excited about both of those. We're really into like breakfast food. Yeah, yeah. So this will totally be for breakfast. This could also be for breakfast, or with like our chicken or something. Yeah. Very rarely do I work like cereal. Uh, you've never eaten cereal in your life. <laughs> Very rarely. Well, I like other breakfast foods, yeah. All right, here we have something that we've also never had. Quinoa Duo, and this has uh, sweet potatoes and zucchini and stuff in it. I don't it. like that one. This isn't for you. You got the chimichurri rice that's coming up next, Shane. <laughs> Patience. Here is Shane's Peruvian style chimichurri rice with vegetables. Looks really good. I'm trying to get, hope you can see the little photo there. Right? Everything? Delicious. Oh, it looks so good. I know it does. It can I hold good. it? There you go. Oh, this is what I was eating. If you like popcorn at all, I highly recommend this heirloom popcorn with avocado oil and pink salt. And because I have an open bag right here, I will give you a little demonstration. Look the, at that. The popcorn kernels in this are very small. I don't know if you're going to be able to get it to this. 
avocado oil. Avocado They're oil. small little mini popcorn kernels. I'm so. not a fan of popcorn. And I tried this and really liked it. Yeah. It was good. They are a little bit firmer though. Like it was hard for you True. to chew it because it's like they're so small. The flavor is really good. Really good flavor. Mm, it's just very like simple. Love. Oh my god, we haven't been recorded yet. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, shame. <laughs> You're yeah. so mean. Did you see my face? I was like. I'm tell me about the dog. The tell show. me about the dog. <laughs> okay, I was setting up the camera right there. Oh, right... wait, this is pretty good. Okay. Thank right you. behind that door where the camera is, I mean, right behind the camera is a door that's open and it's to our basement. This morning, Absolutely. we finally got Chloe to go down the basement steps. She refused this entire time. She knows how to do steps and like in a hotel, she'll go down the staircase, but something about this basement, I mean, it's enclosed, I guess, but it's, it's bright steep, down there. Kind of, it's very, really. it's kind of steep. I don't know. So this morning she finally conquered her fear. I like had to push her a little bit and then she went down them fine. That sounds horrible. No, no, I just had to like shove her to the doorway because she was like, I'm not starting. Yeah. But once she had like one paw near the edge, she was like, oh my God, stairs. I know stairs. Yeah. So anyway, we like played down there. It's carpeted, which is nice because she can play with her toy. It was a nice experience. Anyway, apparently she enjoyed it because she was apparently in the basement, which I had no idea. She was just over there before and I don't know how she got down, <laughs> but I'm setting up the camera and all of a sudden I hear something. <laughs> Something running up <laughs> the basement stuff, <laughs> and I almost died. I swear I, to God, my heart stopped. I didn't hear the noise of the stairs, but <laughs> I was over there. I was watching Hannah, and all of a sudden she gets this <laughs> look of pure terror, and she begins running towards By me. By you, I was going I was past like, you. What is going on? I was leaving, and all of a sudden Chloe came up. <laughs> I was like, Oh my goodness gracious! So now I have to get used to that that she might do that. <laughs> Okay, we just have some eggs for scrambled eggs for the morning. Tell them how we're gonna make them though. Show oh them yeah, the I'll show them the other ingredients. Okay, so for our eggs, Hannah makes this amazing thing. I got this recipe from my friends in Connecticut, so I can't take credit, but it is amazing. This is an onion, so we'll chop this up and we'll caramel. <laughs> just in case you couldn't see, I can't really see the screen. This is an onion. I'm just saying we're gonna put an. I don't know. I'm holding it like this. This could be anything. <laughs> this is a baseball. We're gonna caramelize it. All right, we bought an onion. How's that? We bought an onion. We bought <laughs> eggs. Um, we're gonna caramelize the onion, chop it up really small, and caramelize it. Then you'll put the scrambled egg in with some uh, shredded cheddar cheese, which is right here. We bought this also, so we'll we'll put that right in the scrambled eggs. Cheddar Joe's has really good cheese. They do. I'll just say that. And you might not think this, but you will also put in cottage cheese. I hate cottage cheese, but you'll put this into the scrambled eggs. It makes it. Fluffy. Amazing. And a little bit of milk. I have oat milk, but Shane will probably make us use normal milk. Um, and is that it? I think, yeah. I think that's it. And they're just like the fluffiest, yeah. most delicious eggs. And to go with them, we got these meatless breakfast patties, which we've never had before, but they look pretty good, so we'll have to see. We'll have to rate them on softness, how you can chew yeah, them. Yeah, meatless stuff is always, yes. it's up in the air about whether it will be soft It or certainly not. is. All right, I'll do two drinks now. Uh, I got this fresh squeezed orange juice. They have a big version and it's only, well, it's like, I know, it was like, only on my face. there we go, and this. So they have a giant version that's like this size and it's like $4, which is really good for fresh squeezed. This was like $1.99 or something, so I'm excited. I hope it's good. And then this, strawberry lemonade. My oh my god. Favorite thing ever. My favorite thing ever. I bought two of these. I would have bought more, but they're heavy and I didn't want to carry them home. Um, amazing. And I liken it, if you're a strawberry lemonade fan, I liken it to the strawberry lemonade at the Cheesecake Factory. If you've ever had that, it tastes very similar. It's a very specific, yeah. But this is organic and like the ingredients are, it's there's no corn syrup in it. It's really, really good. There are like four people watching you. We're like, oh yeah, I know that one. Well, to those four people, yeah, it's important. A lot of strawberry lemonades aren't good, yeah. you know? So very, that one is amazing. And it tastes is, fake. Not is it fake. like acidy? No, like, it's not. It no, burn? it's not. I think, well, you hate anything lemonade-y. Yeah. It's not too, it's not too lemony. What? Well, you say it tastes fake. Makes me not want No, it. I'm not saying it tastes, okay. Sometimes you'll get a strawberry lemonade and uh -huh. there will be no strawberry in there. And it's just like poop water and they're like organic strawberry lemonade and it doesn't taste like anything. This tastes like the stuff from Cheesecake Factory which I'm sure is not organic, right? 
Yeah, oh, sure. You know, and that is organic. But it tastes like there's a lot of strawberry. It's just the best flavor. I don't think, it doesn't taste fake like fake strawberry. I shouldn't have said that. That's misleading. (laughs) It's real strawberry, whatever. Hopefully, it might not be. No, strawberry pure ice. The ingredients Uh. right there, Shane. (laughs) It's all organic. It's really good. So anyway, I shouldn't have said it tastes fake. It doesn't. All right, these are for Shane. These are instead of, I'm trying to block your head out. Um, These are instead of your... Uh, spring oh, roll things. Spring rolls, yeah. His warmies. My warmies. So this is another kind. He's never had these. Warmies. Well, we'll see if they're good. Here, do you want to pause and put all this away? Sure. All right, all the, well, half the food is now in the freezer, and it fit. Yep, it fits so far. Next, chicken pot pie. Mmm. Never had this, but it looked really good. So. Let me see. Oh yeah. Put it combine here. All right, so this is, I'm assuming, kind of similar to the chicken tikka masala thing that we got, but this is with chickpeas. Never had it again, but looks really good. And this is sausageless, Italian sausageless sausage. So hmm. I've heard you that heard these are really good, so we're excited to try these. That's yummy. Wait, we got two sausages, two kinds of sausage. What was the other kind of sausage? The patties. Oh, yeah, the other two oh, kinds yeah. of fake sausage. Um, we have roasted garlic hummus. Oh, they should tell me about our meal this. tonight. And we have traditional Middle Eastern tabbouleh salad. It's like, it's all shiny on, on the thing. There and we go. go. with that. You can see it in we there. We got naan. Yes, we have garlic naan. Here, let me, let me grab it. And our chicken. We're making all this tonight. So this is garlic naan. Yeah, this is going to go with our hummus and stuff. And then this is shawarma chicken thighs, which we've also heard are super, super good. So we're excited. We have never cooked yeah. chicken together. Yeah. Yeah, we're not really meat people. We've cooked beef like what, once? A couple of, well, we made that, In that like, skillet rice. few dishes, yeah. And we've made like, um, chili. We didn't put, we didn't put, did we put beef in our chili? I think we put fake beef in there. I think we put our, we like yeah. the fake beef and stuff, but. We don't often cook with like real. Meat. Meat. Um, we yeah. don't eat meat. Just not super often. Yeah, very rarely. So now we're going to try this. And this looks really good. And so. It comes in a sauce. Yeah. How bad should it be? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. For us who like don't really know what we're doing with cooking, like yeah. that's super helpful. We got two oranges. These are sumo citrus. This is an orange. But these are supposed to be really good. Your dad told me that. Really yeah, good. I also got this mango. Oh, for anyone, I don't know. Maybe I'm alone in this, but... I'm obsessed with mangoes, but only the Kent variety of mango, and Trader Joe's has them. They're hard, they're hard to find. You can mostly find them in, like, the uh, winter and spring. I was going to say, aren't they only in season? Yeah. Some of the year? Yes. Yeah. But they're hard, to, I'm just saying. So, I found them, and they're amazing. I don't know. If anyone else loves Kent mangoes, let me know. You can join, like, a Facebook group. <laughs> we got two avocados, two red peppers, and a different kind of orange. Just to see. Is that everything? No. Oh. I was like, wow, that was... No. Here we have more. oat milk and normal milk. Mine is the oat milk. Trying to be a, a better person, but Shane still gets whole milk, so that's I'm what trying to be a completely worse. completely undoes everything I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be a worse person. Well, you're just not cooperating. Oh, and this is also for our dinner, for our chicken tonight. I read online that this goes well with it, so we bought this, this oh, sauce yeah, for like... Well, the chicken, the non, I don't know, like all of it. You dip Just, it. It's a dip for veggies, crackers, or chips, and as a cooling complement to spicy curries, or stuffed into a pita, or as a salad dressing, or as a crunchy sandwich spread. Wow. All of the above. We're just going to eat it on dinner. What a versatile dip. It, I'm excited to try it. It's creamy garlic cucumber dip, so yummy. Mm. Then we have, oops, these. They're very similar to Ritz crackers. They are Ritz crackers. They're really, really good. They're so good. If you thought we were done with the, the sweets, we're not. I also saw these and just had to get them. They look so good. That's my ideal cookie right there. Yeah, it really is. These don't go together. We have seafood cocktail sauce to go with Shane's fish sticks. Oh, which are in the fridge. Because yeah. I got them a couple days ago. Well, they're in the freezer. Yeah, yeah. The freezer, I didn't yeah. feel like taking them out. Um, and lemon sparkling water. I don't know that's not interesting, but I bought that. Yeah. Oh, and these are for Chloe. She really loves these. Minta breath bones. They're the only thing, blocking your face, 
They're the only thing that if we leave the house and she's currently eating one of these, she will not get upset. So yeah. we love these. All right, I think you can guess that these are Shane's. Yeah. French onion soup. I'm curious to see if it comes in the little crock that they show over here. There's two of them, so it must. We'll see. Let me see. I wonder if it's like plastic though. See that little crock? Although they might not spend the money. We'll have the opening. All right. Let's, let's let everyone know <laughs> what it comes in. Oh. Oh my god. Let me see. It's not in anything. Wow. You have to put it in your own crock. It's so cool though. That is amazing. That's really cool. Oh, I'm not that for dinner. No, we bought all this stuff for dinner. So. Oh. No club. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, another thing that I have to tell you. Oh my god, these are so, so good. <laughs> You don't even want to know how many boxes I bought today. Yeah, microwave them with pancakes. Yeah, you just microwave them for like a minute and they are incredible. I mean, they're only this big, so you have to eat a lot of them. But they're really, really good. How many boxes did you buy, Hannah? I bought four, Shane. How many? Four. I bought four, Shane. Don't they, want to run out again. They do. They, they don't last They long. go quickly. Yeah. Our camera died while we were talking about the pancakes, but basically <laughs> Sorry. the point is Hannah is obsessed with them. Uh-huh. And they make up about 90% of her diet. So. I wish. Oh my god. They're so, so, so good. Anyway, sorry. I started eating when the camera died. Thought I had a little bit more time. <laughs> Tomatoes. We like to put them in the oven. Or is she? <laughs> no. With some garlic and wheat and olive oil, and we put them on top of pasta. What's I think that? we've showed roast, that before. Roast. Roast them. We had to roast them. That was the word I was searching for. Put them in the oven. We roast them and we put them on uh, pasta. You've seen that meal. Mm-hmm. Two different dips. We have everything but the bagel Greek style yogurt dip, and then we have buffalo chicken dip. Now we've heard that this buffalo chicken dip is not good. But Shane just couldn't resist trying it. So we're going to try it. Maybe it is good for us. Yeah, who knows. And then last, I think this is last, last, we got two avocados. Did I say that? I think I did. Last Avocado is another breakfast food for me. Yes. We got coffee. Now, we don't ever get coffee from normal stores, but when we came back from Florida, we didn't have any, and it was an emergency. We always get it from my brother's coffee shop, but this time we had to get it from Trader Joe's. So. Blue Nose Coffee. Yeah. Check them out. This is not an endorsement for Trader Joe's coffee. Blue Nose Coffee. They ship anywhere in the world. They do? Well, at least in the U.S. I think they should. Maybe the world. I don't yeah. really know. I don't know. Blue Nose Coffee. Well, that was our haul. Yep. Oh my god, I'm so excited to eat all of it. And see, I feel like if I was watching a whole video... You'd be jealous? I would just be jealous. Yeah. Like, not in a good way. I'd yeah. be like, I want that and I can't have it. <clears throat> but if you yeah. know that you have a Trader Joe's... Then it's good ideas for what you True. might want to go find. Yeah. You know? If you ever have recommendations for like yes. other food that we might like. Yep, definitely. Let us know. Let us know. Oh my god. I had to come back. I just took a bite of this. So, so good. Really like buttery and flaky, like crispy. Soft. Melts in your mouth. No. You want a bite? No, thank you. Alright. Can I let the top of it? Uh uh. Mmm. Kelly, do you want some? No. Oh god, I could live off of these. 